Here at Riverberry Farm, we grow about uh, 40, 50 acres of field vegetables. We do uh, greenhouse tomatoes, bedding plant operation, and we do a pick your own strawberry business as well. So um, we've been farming here for 22 years uh, and uh, plan to be here for hopefully another 10 or 15. <laughs> for small fruit and vegetable growers like Marchant, the growing season starts small and flat, or in flats, as the case may be. To get these babies growing and going, Marchant needs to turn up the heat. We have been burning propane for about uh, 20 years and going through lots and lots of gallons. A few years ago, when the prices got rather high, we were looked at some alternatives and kind of got excited by it. Marchand's interest in an alternative fuel source led him to look into the cost of installing an outdoor biomass boiler. These boilers cost more to install than the equivalent propane systems. The cost of this project was $13,000. Marchand received a Rural Energy for America program, or REIT grant, through the Vermont Agency of Agriculture for 50% of the project and paid for the rest himself. There's a high upfront cost with this boiler uh, compared to just a, a regular hanging propane heater, but um, it gives us a lot more flexibility on how we can heat, plus uh, the cost of the fuel is cheaper than propane, even with the commercial rates we get and the low rates that we've had the last couple of years, we're still saving money. Uh, so if that propane price goes up, we're looking at a pretty short payback period. We're really trying to reduce our propane use, mainly because one, a cost, and two, in terms of climate change and our carbon footprint, uh, using renewable fuels makes a lot more sense. And it's great because it's the wood pellet industry is a real local industry now. It's all within just the Northeast. So.